Hey everybody, this week we have an art contest and it's about COVID-19 safety. Nurse Coogan has asked that we make posters for our community to help spread awareness about how to stay safe. So um, here's a couple ideas. Stay home with people and their pets inside. Um, here's some people wearing masks. Um, here we could do people all around the world staying six feet apart with their arms six feet apart. What you're gonna do first is start by looking at the um, all the different artwork that I put in a slideshow in Seesaw, and you can look through and see how other artists send their message with images and words. Art can be so powerful in spreading your message. So the first thing to do is think about what kind of message do you wanna send? Do you wanna say something about how we should stand six feet apart? Um, or wear a mask when you go into somebody else's house, or um, stay home instead of going out. These are all things that'll help us not spread this virus and help us stay in school. So the first thing you can do is think about what kind of message you wanna send, and then you can think about if you wanna do your words first or your image. Um, one idea is I could even try to make a school bus and I'm starting with sort of a gentle rectangle. I could do some windows in the school bus with children wearing masks going to school. That could be an interesting image to draw. And I'm gonna put the front of the school bus over here. Now, whenever you're, um, whenever you're making a poster, you wanna to try to make your drawing nice and big so people can see it from far away and Try to make your letters so that you can read them so that people can see your message. If people can't read your message, then this poster isn't gonna work. So um, you can do your image first and then your letters, or your letters and then your image, and color it in. So I could do some kind of school bus with some sort of message to wear masks at school. Let's say that was the message. Um, here I could do people all around the world, six feet apart. And I'm making these people out of geometric shapes, triangles, rectangles. Um, as you can see, their arms are very long. And that is because that's the message I'm trying to send. Stay six feet apart and that will help us all stay safe. So let's see, I could fit maybe one or two pe more people here. I'll try to squeeze in two people and see it's just rectangles and triangles. Okay, and then we could color it in and then this is supposed to be the earth and we could think of some message here. You could have your words, they don't have to be straight, they could be curved around with the world also. You guys have such great ideas that I know you're gonna come up with even more than the few that I've demonstrated and that the artists show you. Now for this contest, there's gonna be some great prizes, boys and girls. So we're gonna have um, different levels. If you're in kindergarten and first grade, then you'll be judged together. If you are second and third, you'll be judged together, fourth and fifth, and then um, six, seven, and eight will be also judged together. So here I've got a picture of the world. I'm using my watercolor pencils, and you can use any medium for this. You can use markers, crayons, pencils, um, collage, cut paper. You can even do it right on the Seesaw template. If you'd rather work digitally right on the Seesaw template, you can make your letters and your people right on there, and then just um, upload it to me submit it to the art assignment and we will be able to print your poster if you're one of the winners. Now the fun thing with the watercolor pencils is you just dip them in a little bit of water and even though I didn't color it all the way in, the pigment, the colored part of the pencils spreads all around once you add water. So this could make a really nice poster because they'd be super bright. And I like the idea of everyone coming together. Here for this poster, I colored it in with the colored pencils. 
And now I can just go ahead and add the water and it ends up making the colored pencil a little bit more vibrant and it fills in all the extra white. Now, some of you might need some help spelling your message, of course, and hopefully your parents can help you with that. We're going to try to collect these in two weeks. So hopefully that'll give everyone enough time over the Thanksgiving break and this weekend to get your design together so that we can start to put these up in the community. We're really hoping even to put them in the newspaper, boys and girls. So we really want to try to spread awareness and help people stay safe. I can't wait to see what you do.